what a way to start 2024. Yeah, mate, really good. I think um, I think we lost control a little bit in parts of that game, but the boys um, we stuck together and uh, and we ended up getting scores at crucial times. And I thought um, a lot of that was from uh, a lot of the boys that they built, built pressure over uh, over that period, over 10 minutes in that second half. I think as soon as we got two scores ahead, it was um, we, we had much more control of it. Yeah. We saw a similar start to what we've seen so many times at the Brickfield this season and last season as well. Just a nice quick start. Got a try um, on the board early and, and that was quite important, I suppose, for the, yeah, the rest of the game. Definitely. I think um, when, when we keep all the ball, we attack uh, with some intent. We, we're a really good side. We know that. I think our, just our work on is just keeping that consistently going for 80 minutes. And then um, fair play to Stortford. I thought they played some really good stuff and put us under pressure. And uh, as you see, see, they scored quite a few points. So um, they're a good side. And to come out on top of five points first game at home with a, with a massive break and quite a lot of lads who come into the side haven't played a lot of rugby over the while setter um, obviously Jake Jack um, there's a fair few more come in Jesse Gus has been been out for quite a while so um, yeah those boys get 80 minutes under the bar I'm sure it'll be sore in the morning we had quite a few obstacles chucked at us today and we, we, we kind of managed to, to keep our cool throughout all of that and, and put in a really good performance in the end I don't think I did I think the boys did that with me <laughs> no yeah I think it was um yeah, a couple of yellow cards at key times and put us under pressure. But I think we got a yellow card and we held them out here on our five yard line. Some really good Mordi and then some boys fronting up physically. So it's it back to what we talk about a bit of an Albion performance. Um, we wanted a bit bit more ball in hand. I thought we scored some really good tries with ball in hand today. Um, and we just wanted to vary what we do a little bit. And I thought we did that. Um, were you quite pleased with the fact that we, we sort of stuck true to ourselves today we didn't necessarily get sucked into their aggression and, and that sort of thing we kept the discipline and and just did what we do uh, yeah I, I, to be honest, I thought they would do i thought they they did really well they were a good side to come in put us under pressure especially with ball in hand and um and uh, we had to scramble quite a lot um i think discipline wise i thought we stuck together in that sense but we gave away a lot of powers again um so it's like our achilles heel a little bit um so we'll have a look a little, little look at that. But as I said, I'm really pleased with the performance, really pleased with the boys. Worked really hard the last couple of weeks and um, obviously to get five points at home, fantastic start to, to 2004, 24. Uh, Leicester um, next weekend and, and obviously back at home after that. So two more really important games coming up in January. Yeah, yeah, sure. Leicester's um, down, down the bottom, but I think you can see every every team could be at any team here, especially at home. So uh, to go down there, we know it's going to be a, te a tough test. Um, one we're looking forward to. Um, as I said, we're in a really good position. So um, if we can back up the home wins with uh, away wins, that's, that's uh, always puts us in good state going into the, going into the next February and March. Right. Well done today, Ryan. Thanks very much. Cheers, mate.